Hey everyone, welcome to your mid-length, mid-spice practice. This will be about 30 minutes. We'll find some mellow movement, um, some standing postures, some flow, but nothing is going to be too intense or technical or anything like that. If you'd like to practice with props, grab them now. You can have a bolster, some blocks, whatever you need. And um, if you want to set your space up, light a candle or put on some music, go ahead and do that now. And we're going to get started on our knees and our elbows. So instead of hands and knees, drop down onto the forearms and take some simple rocking motions from side to side through your hips. Letting yourself land here and arrive here on your mat, feeling into your body today. What do you notice right away? What do you need to work on or need to let go of? Really feel your femur kind of stretch out into your glute as you lean over to the right and then over to the left. A couple more on each side. Good. Tuck your toes if they're not already and sit back onto your heels. We're taking a, a nice stretch for the bottoms of your feet. This can be really intense, so of course, if you need to release your toes, by all means do, but try to breathe here. Notice the sensation and then let it pass through. Good, bring your hands, interlace them, and place your palms on the front of your heart. As you breathe in, fill the space in your palms. As you breathe out, turn your hands inside out, press them forward and round through the back body. Inhale, take a little arch, an arc of the spine into your cow pose as you Bring your pinkies into the space behind you. And exhale, round and push your palms forward into your cat pose. Three more inhales to open up the chest, the shoulder. Exhale, palms press forward, round through the back of the heart like you could press into something behind you. Two more with your breath. Last one, inhale. Stretch as long as you can through the sides of your armpits. And then exhale, cactus your elbows, draw your shoulders down the back body as you offer your heart upwards. Good, let's get off those toes. So lean forward, untuck your toes, maybe wiggle your feet around or tap your feet on the mat, and then sit back onto your hips again. Interlace your fingers behind you this time and bring your palms to the right side of your waist. So in this nice little crease here, Good. Now we're going to take a little neck stretch. So drop your right ear over to your right shoulder and start to move your chin up and down towards the floor and towards the ceiling, or you can stay in stillness if that feels better. Do little circles, breathing into the left side of the neck. Good. Switch the cross of your hands and then bring them to the left side waist this time. Left ear drops to left shoulder. Take any little motions that feel good, or you can rest in stillness, breathing into the right side of the neck. Last breath. Good, keep your fingers interlaced. As you inhale, lift up onto your shins, press your hips forward, and then really draw your palms away from the back body. So we're finding some shoulder extension here. Bring your right knee into your chest and then step it forward into a low lunge shape. Tuck your back toes for balance if you need. Inhale, bring your hands down the back side of your left glutes and thighs as you lift your chest upwards. And exhale, humble your warrior. So dip your right shoulder on the inside of your right knee and your head towards the mat. Your arms will um, kind of drop overhead. Push down through your right heel. Inhale, lift up again, open your heart. And exhale, right shoulder on the inside of your right knee. Humble your warrior. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Come back through your kneeling posture and take a little twist. So left hand comes to the left or to the right knee. Right hand comes on your sacrum. So press your palm into that low back space. Peel your right shoulder open and gaze back behind you. Big breath in through the whole length of the spine here. 
And exhale, twist you a little bit deeper, mostly from above the navel. So working on that upper thoracic spine. Inhale again. And exhale. Option to lift your back left toes and hold onto that foot with your right hand. One more cycle of breath here. And exhale, release. Bring your right knee to meet your left. Interlace your fingers the opposite way whatever you weren't doing before, and then pull your left knee into your chest and step it forward into your low lunge shape. Palms press together and then lift off the back body as you inhale and open your chest. Exhale, humble your warrior. Left shoulder drops to the inside of your left knee, crown of the head towards the mat. Press down through your left heel, find that lift up. And exhale, move with your breath, make it fluid. Moving like a wave. Let's do two more. Good. Last time, lift up here. And then exhale, take that twist. Right hand comes to left knee, left palm onto your left sacrum, and then broaden across your collarbones as your left shoulder spreads to the space behind you. Push your left palm into your sacrum. Inhale up the whole length of your spine. Exhale, twist a little deeper and use your core muscles to get there too. So we're not just pressing into the hand. Use your obliques to twist and revolve your rib cage to the left. Option to pull the right heel in and hold on with your left foot, with your left hand. One more breath here. Exhale, gently, gently release. Step your left knee back to meet your right and sit back down into your kneeling pose at the back of the mat, Virasana. From here, we're gonna shift into a deer pose. So roll onto your right hip, down onto the mat. And then kind of separate your feet so that the bottom of the right foot is on the left thigh. Knees are plenty bent here, so it's a gentle hip opener. Inhale, find some length and lift through your spine. And exhale, walk your hands forward as you find a fold. You can, of course, use any, any type of prop that you want to bring the ground up to you and feel really supported here. Just here for a couple breaths. Breathing into the back body, the low back, down into the pelvic floor. And then exhale softly, just letting that go. Letting your body recalibrate back to center. Good, lift back up. So shoulders are stacked over knees or over pelvis. And then roll through your center and then drop your left hip down. Separate your legs out so the sole of the left foot is on the right thigh this time. Knees are bent. Hands are on your body. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, fill up. And exhale, walk your hands forward. Breathe in your fold for about five, seven breaths. Feel that air moving through your whole body. So a big 360 degree breath through the belly, the back, the rib cage, into the chest. Left toes are soft. One more cycle. Let it feel good. From your gaze to the top of your mat, walk your hands forward. Meet me in a tabletop pose. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Couple of rocks from side to side, like how we started class, but this time on our palms instead of our forearms. So really letting those hips drop over to the side as far as you want. I feel this a lot in my glutes. It's a nice posterior hip stretch. Good, in the back of your center, three rounds of cat-cow. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your tail, lift your gaze, and pull your heart through your shoulders. 
Exhale, tuck your chin to chest, round through the back body as you push the ground away and tuck your tailbone in. Inhale to open up the front line of the body in your cow shape. Exhale, round, curl, cat pose, pull everything in. One more time. Good. Gaze to the top of the mat. Step into your malasana, your yogi squat. You could place a block underneath your sit bones if you'd like. Just step one foot wide and then the other foot wide. Drop your hips low, point your toes out, and bring your hands to heart center. Feel the tripod shape of your foot. So pinky toe side, big toe side, and heel. Evenly distributed down into the ground. Feeling equal parts kind of weightiness through the pelvis and then lift up through the crown of the head and the chest. One more inhale. And exhale, drive so your feet come to stand. We're gonna find a little bit of a gentle mobility sun salutation today, so something a little bit different. As you inhale, press your hips forward, engage your glutes and lift your arms up high, upward salute. Little back extension here, hip extension. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Bend your knees as much as you'd like or need. Drop your head down low. Palms can be on the mat or on your body. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Tug the crown of the head forward. Reach back through your sit bones. Exhale, lift up onto your um, balls of your feet if you'd like, or you can keep your whole foot planted, but find some sort of squat shape or toe stand shape or something in between. Inhale, lift your arms overhead, finding that shoulder flexion, pointing your thumbs into the space behind you. Good, exhale, come to stand in a halfway kind of posture. So hands onto your thighs, and we're in this kind of hands on knees supported. It's not really standing, it's not really folding. And find a little tuck of the pelvis here. Inhale to open up into your cow shape, so really Sliding your sit bones back behind you and your heart forward. And exhale, hands to the heart center, come to stand. So one breath per movement, inhale, drive your hips forward, arms reach high. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale into your squat or toe stand or something in between. Inhale, arms reach high. Stay in this balanced posture. Exhale, heels drop, hands to thighs, hips behind you in our halfway standing posture and tuck your pelvis in. Inhale, untuck your pelvis, open up through the front body. Exhale, stand, hands to heart center and really use your hamstrings to do that hip hinge pattern to come to stand. Inhale, open up the hips, lean back. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, toe stand or squat, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms reach up and back. Exhale, hands on knees, tuck your pelvis in. Inhale, open up your pelvis and your front body. Exhale, hands to heart center, come to a stand. One more time through this, keep lungs guided. Inhale, extend your hips forward, lift your arms up. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, bend your knees, your toe stand or squat of choice. Inhale, lift your arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to thighs, heels drop down, tuck your pelvis in. Inhale, open up into your cow. And exhale, hands to heart center. One more time with your breath exploring these movements or anything else that might feel better for you and your body. Try to make it fluid and flowy with your in-breaths and your out-breaths. Maybe even standing whenever you're ready. 
One more inhale together. Sweep your arms up and drive your hips forward. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. This time interlace your fingers along your sacrum. Press your palms together and then drop your palms overhead. So big shoulder opening stretch. Good. Bend into your left knee and twist open to the right, drawing your left shoulder down towards your left knee. And then bend your right knee, twist open to the left. Stay here, ground down into your right foot and then step your left foot to the back of the mat, toes are angled out. Humble warrior, exhale as you fold, drop your right shoulder on the inside of your right knee. Inhale, cartwheel your arms open, warrior two, Vira Bajrasana two, and exhale, bend into your right knee as you sink down. Inhale, reverse your warrior, left hand down the left thigh, right arm up and back. Exhale, left hand plants on the inside of your right foot, pivot onto the ball of the left foot. Breathe in, easy twist, right fingertips stretch up towards the sky. Good. Exhale, left knee plants, left toes kicks in underneath your right hip, and extend modified side plank to the back of the mat, right leg straightens, left hand plants, and right fingertips stretch towards the back of your space. Exhale, engage your right obliques to lift shoulders over pelvis. Breathe in, gate pose, right hand down, right leg, left arm up and over. Exhale up to center. One more movement here. Inhale, drop your forearms to the mat and your hip towards your left heel. Finding this nice inner thigh stretch, groin stretch for your right side. Good. Exhale, pushes your hands into the mat to lift you back to center. Rebend into your right knee, toes point forward, frame out your right foot, and tuck your left toe into the back of the mat. Step back into downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, walk, hop, step, float. Make your way to the top of the mat into a fold. Breathe in, half a lift. You breathe out, bend your knees, find your toes squat, your stand, whatever you wanna do. Breathe in, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to thighs, tuck your pelvis as you drop your heels to the mat. Let one movement make its way into the next. We do a vinyasa and come to stand. Sweep arms up, extend hips forward. Exhale, fold down, let your head hang heavy. Arms interlace behind you, opposite thumb on top. Good. This time bend into your right knee first and twist open to the left. And then bend into your left knee, twist open to the right. Stay planted through your left foot, step your right foot to the back of the mat. As you exhale, fold into your humble warrior, left shoulder on the inside of your left knee. Inhale, warrior two. Open your arms up and sink into your left knee, stretching long in opposite directions. Breathe in, reverse your warrior. Breathe out, easy twist. Right hand plants at the top of the mat, pivot onto the ball of your right foot, and left fingertips stretch up. Exhale, lower your back knee, pivot your toes to the left, and straighten into your left leg as your right hand plants at the back of the mat. Modified side plank. Breathe in. Stretch long through your side body. Exhale, engage your left obliques to lift you up. With that motion, sweep you over to the left. And then back through center again. Inhale, right hip to heel. Lower your forearms down. Add up your stretch. And then push your hands into the mat as you lift back up. Bend into your left knee. Put your toes to the top of the mat. Frame your left foot and step back downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, make your way to the top of the mat, fold. Breathe in, half lift, straight spine. Breathe out, let it go. Find your squat, toe to toe stand, and then inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, hands to thighs, tuck your pelvis, drop your heels. Inhale, open up the front side of the body. And exhale, stand, hands to heart center. Keep going one more time through the sequence. Inhale, extend your hips forward. Exhale, fold down, Uttanasana. Hands interlace at the back space. Inhale, twist open to the right side, bending into your left knee. And then switch it out, bend into the right knee and twist open to the left. Stay here as you inhale, step your left foot back. And as you exhale, humble warrior, fold down. 
tuck your right hip underneath your body. Keep this structure of your legs. Inhale, open up warrior two. And exhale, sink low. Breathe in, reverse left arm down the leg, right arm up and back. Exhale, easy twist, left hand plants at the top of the mat. Right fingertips stretch up towards the sky. Exhale, lower your left knee down. Pivot your toes underneath your body and straighten your right leg. Modified side plank at the back of the mat. Inhale. Exhale, shoulders over pelvis. Inhale, gate pose. Exhale, stack again. Inhale, fold down. Lower your forearms if you'd like. Take a little bow. And then exhale, drive your hips forward one more time. Rebend into your right knee. Raise your foot. Tuck your back toes. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, Uttanasana, top of your space. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, fold. Bend your knees, find your squat variation. Inhale, hands up high. Exhale, heels down. Tuck your pelvis as you come to a partial stand. Inhale, open the front body. And exhale, hinge at your hips. Come to stand, hands to heart. Breathe in, up, extend, lift higher. Breathe out, fold, let it go. Halfway lift. And exhale, release. Interlace your fingers, opposite grip. Bend into your right knee. Twist open to the left. And then bend into your left knee. Twist open to the right. Inhale to ground weight into your left foot and step your right foot back. Exhale, fold, lift your chest low. Inhale, warrior two, open your arms, stretch along through your fingertips. And exhale, sink a little deeper. Breathe in, reverse warrior. And breathe out, easy twist, right hand plants at the top of your space, left fingertips stretch out. Exhale, back knee drops, toes kick stand underneath your body, straighten your right leg, or your left leg, and plant your right hand at the back of the mat. Inhale, modified side plank. Exhale, gate pose. Inhale, stretch up and over to the left. And exhale, back through center. One more time, option to take a bow, lowering your forearms down, sending your hip to your right heel. And exhale, drive your hips forward. Left toes point forward, bend into your left knee, plant your hands, step back downward facing dog. Good, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, top of your space. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold, and then bend your knees, find your squat. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, hands to thighs, tuck the pelvis in. Even if it looks funny, let it feel good. Inhale to open. And exhale, come to stand, palms meet each other in the middle and pull your eyes down. Letting that sense of movement and energy circulate through your body and then start to kind of settle in your own time, on your own time. Take a breath in through your nose to the very top. Exhale, sigh it out. Take your eyes open. Bring your toes out, your heels in, and come into a squat. One full breath here. And exhale, come to sit. Right shin will be crossed in front of the left. Find an easy seat. Just kind of roll out your shoulders here. Rock your weight from side to side on your pelvis. And take a little easy twist over to the right. Right hand plants behind you. Left hand comes onto right knee. Inhale, find some length through your spine. And then exhale, peel your right shoulder back as your gaze follows. Back through center, switch the cross of your legs. And then exhale, twist to the left. Right hand crosses over. Breathe in to ground down through your sit bones and then lift up through, through the crown of your head. Exhale, twist open to the left. Good. Back through center, check in, see how you're feeling. We are gonna have the option to move into headstand if you'd like. If that's not in your practice, then find any posture or any movement that feels exploratory and playful, but really grounded in your own body. 
Um, if you want to take headstand, roll over your knees and chins. Make sure you're kneeling posture. A um, couple ways to do this. I'm going to teach the tripod version. So we're going to interlace all 10 fingers and the weight is going to go on the pinky finger side of our hand and our forearm. So throughout this motion, you want to think about pushing, protracting. So your shoulder blades will push forward into the mat to kind of lift up and take some of the weight off the crown of the head. Okay. So plant your pinky finger side down, interlace all 10 fingers. And then the crown of the head will touch the ground, but again, the shoulder girdle is really strong and steady here to make sure we're not compressing on the neck. Tuck your toes as you're ready and exhale. We'll lift your hips high. Good, check in here. If everything feels okay, you're gonna bring one knee into your chest and coming up on the other toes to balance. As you're ready, you can lift the other knee up. Core is nice and engaged here, hugging knees into center. And if you want, you can straighten your legs out, pointing your toes up to the sky. You can also take whatever variation you want with your legs. Find a little forward movement of your pelvis, your tailbone. A couple breaths here. Letting yourself be playful if you fall out of it, get back into it or do something else. You can also bring your feet out wide into a straddle shape. You don't have a mantle in the way. A couple breaths here. You can move your knees through center, kind of cycle out the legs. Three more breaths to explore. And as you're ready, to exit your shape, hug both knees into chest and lower as slowly and controlled as you can your toes to the mat. Good. Knees drop down, find a child's pose. Stretch your fingertips forward and breathe. And lift up into your kneeling posture. Roll your shoulders out, roll your neck out. Let's move into a straddle shape. You can for sure sit up onto a bolster, lifting your hips higher than your knees if you'd like, and then bring your heels out really wide or as wide as feels comfortable for you. Take an inhale, lift your chest up, and then exhale. Keep some of that length in the spine as you walk forward, or you could totally just round and get super comfy here too. It doesn't matter. I like to take sways from side to side. Walk your hands over to the right leg or, you know, anywhere along the shin, the thigh. If your hand doesn't touch your toes, not a big deal whatsoever. If you want, you could take a side stretch. Your left arm will reach up and over towards your right toes. And again, if they don't touch, just kind of cactus your left elbow and find that same side bend with a nice energetic lift of the heart upwards. And then over to the left. Option to find the side bend, bringing your right arm up and over. Feel free to explore any movement along the way any posture along the way. Breath through center. Scoot your bottom towards the front of the mat so you can lay down. And once you lay down onto your back, bring your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around the fronts of your shins, and then take a little rock side to side. Just doing a little massage for the low back. Good. Extend your left leg long, heel presses out, and then guide your right knee across the body to the left. So you find twist. Your right elbow can be cactus, or your arm can be straight in a T-shape. Think about grounding your shoulder blades down, and then let yourself chill here.
press through center, stretch it out. Right heel presses out long, left knee into your body, and then over to the right. Whatever you want to do with your left arm is great. Just let this be a posture that feels good, that you can relax into. your back body hug your knees into your chest one more time and this time lift your forehead maybe so it touches your knees Get really scrunching up into a ball and take a big breath in as big as you can exhale open up into your final resting posture shavasana your heels can come out to the corners of the mat comfy facing the sky or facing down onto your body Yourself linger here in the after effects of giving yourself the opportunity to be embodied and exploratory, and finding a sense of flow and play, but in a way that honors where you are and doesn't force things. And if you're holding any tension anywhere, unlock your jaw, massage out your brow, and then relax again just for a few more breaths. Take an inhale here, shrug your shoulders up to your ears. Hold at the top, and then exhale, big flop, wherever you go. If you can stay here longer, please do. If you're ready to transition out, keep your eyes closed and then gently roll into one side. And then come up to a seat, whatever comfortable seat you wanna find. Eyes are still closed if you're able. And here in this in-between space, meeting yourself just one more time. We'll take one more breath together. Inhale, sweep your arms up high. Exhale, hands can come to third eye or to the heart center and take a little bow for your practice. And start to open your eyes and taking the space around you again. Maybe rub your hand, hands along your body somewhere presencing yourself from the mat into the outer world. Hopefully you feel nice and mellow and embodied and kind of flowy in your body. Notice where you can breathe better or move better. Notice anything that comes up in the mind or in the emotions or the energetic centers of you. Um, it's just really nice to be able to spend a chunk of time doing this and not thinking about other things. Hopefully that's the case for you. So. Thank you for being here and I'll see you next time.